So America's about the pursuit. And so I, I think are the trashing all? ourselves, I, I think we oh, are actually. Hey guys, I'm off the grid for August, but here's a generic intro to a clip we wanted to show you. The, 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 the country has never fulfilled its promises of freedom, liberty, and justice for all. It's always been freedom, liberty, and justice for some. And usually that some is uh, white people. So here's what I would say in response to that. That is obviously true that the nation has fallen short mm -hmm. of our promise since our founding. But walk through some obvious facts about America. We're not founded on an ethnicity or a monarch or a food or even a religion. We're founded on a set of ideals that brought a group of people together in 1776. And we live by those ideals. At least we aspire to those ideals today. A nation that aspires to ideals that's not made up of gods, but made up of human beings will always fall short of those ideals. So I think our worst hypocrisies as a country, and we have many of them, mm -hmm. our worst hypocrisies are our best evidence that we have ideals at all. You take a look at other countries. Nobody ever calls the Chinese Communist Party a hypocrite or China a hypocrite or Iran a hypocrite. Why is that? Because to be a hypocrite, <laughs> you at least had to have ideals in the first place. But a lot of and and so we're imperfect, but we are about the pursuit of a more perfect union, the pursuit of happiness. America is about the pursuit. And so I, I think are the trashing all, ourselves, I, I think we are actually. I say that is because, you know, we, we never were included in those ideals originally. Like, originally, yeah. but never and not originally are two different things. Mm -hmm. Originally, that's true. Mm -hmm. Over 250 years of progress. If you had somebody who was in 1870 looking at the world we live in today, if you had somebody in 1960 who was looking at the world we live in today as it relates to race in America, we would be darn close to what they would have thought of as the promised land. So I think we have to recognize that America is about that pursuit. We're a lot further along than we were 250 years ago. We, and here's the other thing, too. We got to set our expectations. We will always fall short of our ideals. By definition, if there are human beings and not gods living in a nation that aspires to ideals, we are fallen. Man is fallen. That's what makes us who we are. But what also makes us different from animals is that we have ideals. Mm -hmm. So America's founded on our humanity, that we can believe and aspire to something that we will still fall short of. That's what makes this country beautiful. And that's why, it, it, that's why I'm in this. You ask me, why am I in this? I care about reviving pride in that nation, because if we get in the habit of just bashing that country, what are we bashing? We're bashing the last best hope that man has for aspiring to those ideals. Tell me who else has done better. I'll wait.